Hello, this is my video review of the VEX Tank Tread Kit. This is the box that the Tank Tread Kit came in. It's a pretty standard sized VEX box. In the box were not just parts, but also these, these instructions. Uh, there were four sheets of instructions that came with the kit. Um, they're very easy to follow. I don't think a beginner shouldn't have too much trouble following it. They show how to make just one of these things. A VEX tank tread module. The parts inside the green tread right here are connected to a metal plate right there which is connected to my robot chassis. My robot's chassis is an extra large VEX chassis so the tank treads are a little bit smaller than normally. I can, however, make longer tank tread modules that would cover the whole length of my robot because the tank tread kit came with 65 inches of these things, tank tread links. Um, that's the tank tread module. Now let's take it for a spin. Controlling the robot with the VEX tank tread kit on it is very easy. My controller here is set to drive the robot like it's an actual tank, so I use both the joysticks. So uh, here it is driving it. So it's pretty easy to drive this thing. It can go over carpet very, 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 very easily. It can also go over other obstacles very, very easily. Um, only thing is, since it's a tank tread, um, it's going to be a little slower than if you went with wheels. Uh, I think these, this kit isn't exactly going to give you increased performance over rugged terrain such as rocks and things, I think you're going to get the same performance as if you if you were to go to with one of these things. This is an extra large VEX wheel. And I think you would have the same results uh, if you went if you put these on your robot and drove in rugged terrain. Especially if you have a four wheel drive robot. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching my review. Um, tune in for the next one. Make them feel